a mighty city with a mighty man with not very mighty vision anymore. Hello, welcome to Chairman Kaganovich's uh, very slow but but consistent conquest. We've, we've, we're keeping an iron grip on our expansion, which is something I don't normally do with Crusader Kings. I just declare war and declare war and declare war and then complain when we have a realm revolt. We really are consolidating power quite a lot this series. Second vassal step out of line, gone. We removed so many vassals yesterday and restructured the entire realm. So I think everybody more or less loves us at this point, right? This guy doesn't why. Declared war defeats me usurp title. Hey, like I said, that's his own fault. But everyone else, though, all the, all the important vassals are big fans. Now, I've actually made a change since yesterday. Just because I'm so used to CK3's ability to control your successes a bit more. You've got, what have you got in that game? Like, Denounce, you've got the ability to disinherit entirely, of course. With the round, you can actually plot against your own kids. And CK2, of course, you can't do that. So I thought it's appropriate for a man who is a, uh, a controller in the KBG to be able to plot against your own children. So if we want to, we could kill these kids dead. But of course, if we're caught, it would be, it would be devastating because some of our, our family members are landed. Our brother, for example, controls Moscow. He's a very powerful man. If we're caught killing our family members, if we get Kinslayer, we are irreversibly fucked. So we have to be very, very, very careful about how we handle succession. If we can get away with it, if it seems like a safe bet or if it's entirely necessary, if there's no other way we can tidy up these kids, sure. Okay, sure. Maybe we'll plot to kill then. Maybe we should wait until we become the full-on grand chairman of the KBG as well. Um, otherwise... Things are a little bit more, uh, a little bit more dangerous, aren't they? On the subject to that, we've got a new ambition because we've technically groomed an heir because our daughter came of age. I'll check what she came out like in a second. Uh, see the round prosper or build a war chest. I think build the war chest is a bit more appropriate because if we see the round prosper and there's like a really obvious expansion, say like Peter Greg goes into rebellion, I would want to capitalize on that and I don't want to put us off it for like five years, right? So, well, how's our daughter looking? Uh, not as good as I was hoping, actually. Andropov, uh, underhanded rogue. That's not fantastic. She's also content and just. Ugh. Oh, that's not right at all. We could recruit her to the to the KBG. Uh, I'm going to... I'm just going to marry her off. Who are we marrying her off to? This guy here. No idea why. Fuck it. Here, take her. She, she's useless to us. We could have married her off matrilineally, but uh, ultimately, I don't think we can even change the succession law. Because I think when we form um, the... I've actually renamed this as well to USSR because people were very mad about the fact that it was called CCCP, I think it was before. Um, which people were saying should be pronounced like SSSP or something like that. So I've just gone for um, USSR as we all... As, as we know it, at least in the uh, English-speaking world. Bear in mind as well, the developers are probably having, you know, like their own backstory and own law built around the whole thing. There might be a reason it's called that in uh in the world and there's there's obviously reasons why these guys worship stalin beyond the fact look it's all corrupted history that's ultimately what this is i feel like i should have probably pointed that out episode one these guys don't know who stalin is you know it takes place in the year 2600 after the world has been well something's happened to it and all of the technology has been destroyed they barely know who this guy is so it's all it's all just a bit of fantasy isn't it really it's all just a bit of fun fantasy speaking of which uh i want to maybe keep the pace up I, th I think that's what we we really need to focus on here. We don't want to let some of these other places like Ukraine, Belarus get too powerful. Peter Grad is still my kind of big one that I'm scared of. Um, what have they got here? 3,500. Before this guy dies, I want to declare... I, I want to try and get us into the position where we can declare a great patriotic war. And we could grab like... Grab a good chunk of land from that though, couldn't we? Holy fuck. Um, we either go for that or we go for... Actual Peter Grad, the kingdom of, right? Um, yeah. Because I think that's the best use of it. We could go for... Can we... I, we can Holy War anywhere, right? So we could Holy War Moldova or Ukraine. Ukraine would be a big one. Let's see how we get on. Let's see if we can get to the top of the party. Because, again, if we get to the top of the party, we can raise an army from the, uh, from the KPG. Young Child 2 is actually coming out all right. And Child 2 was the one I refused to name unless he proved himself. I mean, ambitious, gregarious, now diligent. Chance of diligent. Either diligent or patient. Either's fine. Training him in Intrigue. Why don't we take a look at the one that we really want to be our heir here. Um, that's uh, Tuka Tukachevsky, I think is how you would say that. Uh, what have we got? A stewardship or... Oh, shit. Intrigue. Or even Marshall. Definitely not Diplomat and definitely not Learning. Wow, that's a difficult choice. Um, it, it's got to be between Stewardship and Intrigue, just mathematically, you know? Uh, Arbitrary and Zealous. I'm liking this kid already. To be fair, all of these are very, very good. Our potential combo here, what we've got, like, Deceitful... Uh, just, I guess, doesn't really work because he's already arbitrary, which I kind of would like to keep in some ways. Um, 
So maybe he gets like Roth. Roth is okay. Diligent would be fantastic. Patient and brave or ambitious. This kid has so much potential. Oh, oh shit. The Duke of Chechnya died. Oh, I, I mean died? Was saying in personal combat. Well, fair enough. As long as it's legal. Okay, who are we going to give that to then? So his own vassal killed him. You know what? Should we... Was that the guy that, that, that killed the last one? Let me just double check here. I want to be sure. I was thinking we could give it to him as kind of a... So you were killed by... No, it's killed by him. I mean, I could give it to you. That's quite cool. Yeah, you know what? You've proven yourself a powerful ruler. Take it, my friend. Our red new cap has actually recovered to the size that it was before we became... Remember when we were feudal, we had like 1,500. Then it dropped right down when we became... Or when we transformed from tribal to feudal. Now we've kind of built back up here. We could go for like heavy infantry or cavalry. I kind of like a combination of maybe defense, cavalry, and heavy infantry would be ideal. We haven't quite got the red new cap for it. What is that? Oh, 750 from those guys. They are very powerful, though. 20% more, but 50% defense. If we play like river crossings and hills with those guys, we'd be fucking unstoppable. I think let's go over to intrigue, folks, and see if we can really work our way up to Grand Chairman here. Um, if we get enough points, we could assassinate our way through to it. I don't think right now that we're going to be... Where are we on this big old list? Two, three, nine. We are like nowhere near in line to succession here. Um, how do we get more purge points? Intrigue, diligent, patient helps out. It's going to take a long time to get up there, unfortunately. If I put my wife to focus on intrigue instead, maybe she already is, actually. What, what is she... She's supporting him in rulership. So we're getting plus six marshal from that. Um, I think that's just a generic thing, isn't it? Supporting him in rulership. Let's change you from marshal, because our marshal's pretty garbage anyway. I think I only did that for, for war. That takes back down to 11, um, which obviously isn't ideal. But let's swap you over to intrigue. While we're not at war. And then we could just swap it back over when we go back to war. Granted, it won't have an immediate effect. Because that helps you build up your actual... Um, kind of like levy reinforcement rate. Uh, retinue size is most important by that. So it'll take a little while to get back to that. But 19 intrigue though. Holy shit. I'm going to kill everyone. How did he come out? Actually, not bad. Actually, not bad at all. I can't... Oh, he's also our rival. I have more of a reason to end you then, child too. I think it's a case of us killing him before he kills us. 13 intrigue, trained in intrigue, is cruel, proud, ambitious. He's also our heir as it stands. I think if we leave this unchecked, he will just destroy us. Oh, look. We found out about his sexual preferences. Yes. <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, look at this. Life in the shadows is a risky affair. Sorry, I thought we'd train him up. But no, it's the opposite. We found out about him. We spied on him. And now we've gained elusive shadow. Oh, that's really cool. Holy fuck. Talk about a redemption arc for this guy. Elective succession in the inner party. Spy on him. Can we spy on this man? Uh, oh, let's demand religious conversion. Oh, that explains it. Petrist. I think he is on my list of people to kill. Because if he dies, we get his land. We can give it back to someone more loyal. More importantly, he, is, uh, he, he hates us. He wants whatever the hell democracy is, if you can believe that. Now, this is interesting. Now, this guy we're in a non-aggression pact with. Remember, this is the guy whose realm I was paying off to be converted over. Uh, we basically sponsored his conversion from whatever he was, and obviously him being a tribal nation too, to a reformed religion. There is a possibility we can vassalize him. Now, he's not actually a realm that we can, uh, that we can use our kind of rebuild, uh, the USSR claim on whatever whatever that Cassus Bello is called again. Um, so we could just bring him into the realm. That'd be quite nice because he gets rid of uh, another nation at our borders. Then again, they are Stalinists. Either way, the council's not up for it. So we know our first goal here is to tr maybe try and take away some power from the council. So war declaration could be really, really good. So we also need to have, what, imprisonment for that, I believe? Um, oh, well, fucking everything. Wow. Okay. Um... That's a pain in the ass. Shit. It's time to start buying some favors. Try and coerce the council a little bit here. Right, so you are shit. So you're gonna go. Um, oh! Wait, Tukhachevsky came of age? I wasn't even notified. He's elusive shadow, genius, arbitrary, zealous. He missed out on ambitious. Okay, that's a shame, but he got brave. He got diligent. Gregarious, I think he already had, right? Envious and greedy, shit. So we lost ambitious, but honestly, he's fine. I mean, 21 learning. A masterful schemer. Oh, it's a shame that our... Okay, you're already fine then. So let's swap our commissar out for just... Is there anybody who's a loyalist? No. 
Um, he's a glory hand. I'd rather have a pragmatist. Oh, but he's got 20. Maybe we could just win him over. With 25 learning, he's a very, very powerful ally to have if we can if we can ensure that he is our ally. Send him a gift. Outraged. Tyrant. Oh, fuck. <laughs> can intimidate him for a favor. But that then we lose our purge points. But if we do that, we're... we're who hates us on the council? Uh, it, it's him. Oh, we've also got someone voting against us. You're returning it to... Uh, Safroni? Or Sofroni? I have no idea how you say that. Um, and that's him. So if we intimidate him, we succeed. We get a favorful and get him on our side. He's also got two people voting for... Go on. Damn it. When I met him the other day and inquired about his investments, he certainly seems to notice my veiled threat, but his reaction was not what I expected. He laughed right into my face. You fuck. Let me get something against him. I'll, I'll, I'll dig up something on him. Uh, we could fabricate it, but I'm trying to... How much is it again? 50-50. He's a traitor. I'm going to charge him with being a traitor. Maybe I could pardon him in exchange for... Oh, we can't pardon him. Okay, that's fine. Um. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. We could always just kill him. Um, and obviously, he would just be replaced by someone else. Maybe a bit more, more likable. Although, trying to kill off this kid is a bit more, a bit more of a pressing matter. Let's get a spy master on it. In fact, if we get Tukachevsky as our spy master... And get him building a spy network. If he kills his brother, who is our rival and probably actively out to kill us. That would put him as our heir. Everybody wins. He has a vested interest in getting the title. We have a vested interest in him getting the title and also not getting killed ourselves. Oh. Let me know that the child too will be poisoned by what? What is your... What is that? <laughs> Engels. Its flag is just Engels. That's incredible. Come on. Oh. We killed him. Were we caught? Not knowing the name of his killer. Holy shit. We've actually done it. Goodbye, my child. Goodbye, my child. You deserved it. Actions are angry. Independence. Why? Send her a gift. Oh, fuck. Defeat me to club or a subtitle tyrant. Lunatic. Zealous. I, I need to convert her, don't I? She was the one I was trying to convert for, but she's saying yes. Hey, that's fine. Nice work. Okay, so who's next on my list of people to kill? It was the temple holder in... Um, was you, right? Yes, it was. Right, kill you dead. Plot to kill. What have we got? 53%. What the fuck? He is not liked. Oh my god, he is really not liked. And the fact is, we could sway so many more people into this plot too. Look at this. The wife is going to shoot him with a bow and arrow. Thank you, wife. Kill him dead. Boom. Oh my god! A tragic day. We may have killed him, but somebody drowned my daughter. Why did they kill child six? What the fuck? <laughs> That's fucked up. See now this is this is a much more likable guy. We've we've lost his skill set. But you know what? I need the loyalists right now, because we need to start taking back a bit of power here. Three supporters, four opponents. With our vote, it would be a split vote, but I believe favor would be to us because we're doing the vote. However, we can use this as an opportunity to try and grab some other voters as well, right? So let's go for, um, who's the least powerful of all these people? Probably the marshal. So I think we either try and become his friend, get his loyalty. If that fails, we'll intimidate him. In fact, I think, if, I think I'm just going to intimidate you anyway. Fuck it. Uh, intimidate for a favor, intimidate for a favor. Uh, why can't we intimidate you for a favor? Uh, oh, because he's not a member of the, uh, the KBG. Shit. Whereas this guy is. Oh, interesting. Wait, no, he's not, though. Why are we allowed to hit you with that? Uh, same realm? I have no idea. Okay, weird. Um, can we... Okay, well, let's go for you, then. 50-50, right? There we are. He owes us a favor. Right, so we can bring him on board now. So I'm going to call in your support, my friend. My friend. We are good friends, after all. And let's go for... I think grant titles or revoke titles would be the most appropriate to start off with here. Let's go for you. And that should go through no problem. Done. The inner party has approved it. Good work. Okay, that's quite nice. And then, obviously, war declaration should be the ultimate goal. But I think next we'll go revoke titles. Then maybe imprisonment. Because that way, if any of our vassals do step out of line, we just imprison them and revoke their titles, right? Um... Execution, I'm actually really not bothered by at all. Let's see if we can find you a wife. 
Now I'm looking for someone who's genius. Naturally. 41. No. No, no, no. Thank you. Right. Show me some characters then. Let's go uh, genius. And let's see who we can get to court easily. Um, is there anybody of our religion? First and foremost. I'm going to assume not. No, there's not. Okay. In that case, we'll sort by age. Uh, 23 is fine. 23 with some better... I mean, these are a lowborn. She's okay. But her brother is a... Uh, a Republic Duke, which is a bit of a shame. Um, we may have to go lowborn just by the fact that we can actually invite them to court. Um, any lustful? Any with anything else at all? No, unfortunately not. Alright, well, look, she's groomed. But I can't invite her though, can I, because of her brother. Let's see if we can... Well, bear in mind we've got the, the Invite with Promises mod. One of the few actual gameplay mods outside of uh, the actual mod itself that we've got. The Overhaul, that is. See if we can invite her with a Grant Council position. No. Base reluctance is quite low. But with Promises, still no. False Religion is... Oh, yeah, fuck. All right, we're going to have to go lowborn, I think. I, I'm all right with it. It's not ideal, but I, I think it's okay. Let's go for her, because she's got, like, a super high stewardship, so she's at least got that going for her, which is kind of nice. And the facility bonus from Fortune Builder. Yeah, that's reasonable. Right, so send her a gift. Uh, let's buy a favor, and let's get you to court. Oh, peasant revolts. Disgusting. Kill them all. Kill, kill every last one of them. My vassal expanded out. It looks as if they have. How many troops have you got? 945. Oh, it's a bad day for you. He is a republic, but he hasn't got any money either. If we do that, what is he? Petrist. And how many of those are there? Um, Religion map mode. Where is that? Here we are. I mean, there are no... I mean, it's our land. Shit. Uh, we, could, we could genuinely grab his kingdom. What do you think? All right. Let's do it. The Great Patriotic War for Petergrad. The powerful chairman Kaganovich has decided it's time to make war against the Presid... Pre Presidatel? I have no idea. Uh, Veslav of Petergrad. All three Stalinist men are called to take part in the great struggle for fame and glory. Our divine blood is better than their Peter the Great. To arms. Wow. What a, what a war. Right. Let's get... Uh... Let's get you guys in as well. We can we can hire the KBG here. Could have held out. We, we obviously could have held out till we eventually became chairman. If we actually do become chairman. There's no point just sitting around when we could basically win this war anyway. I think this is going to be a ra rather comfy war. Because I don't think he's going to get any allies turning up. Oh! What? He died of poor health. He spent many years and resources trying to spread the word of Lord Stalin among heathens. He did do that indeed. A formidable duelist. Is that really what they... Oh, no. Oh, shit. Uh, we lost a realm. But that's okay. Wow, that is not the best time to get that war kicking off. Or, or to, to get a succession in the middle of a war kicking off. Um, war focus, then. My god, he does have High Marshal. You're right. Holy fuck. And he hasn't even got the Art of War active yet. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Um, right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go set the council first and foremost. Here, welcome aboard. Um, wife, Marshall, definitely Marshall. Do the council like me? Uh, decently. If we spread some gold around, uh, we can't really afford to go too crazy on it. So just be careful. Uh, it's not worth it. That that one probably is. Right, council are big in in favor of us anyway. We lead the armies. Red guardsmen. What is that? Communist underscore Crusader underscore desk. Bear in mind, I am playing a, uh, a kind of pre-release version. Bear in mind, the four mod comes out on the 24th, so I'll make sure they know um, that that isn't there for whatever reason. Cool. Hey, we got a Crusader trait too. And we stole a portrait of Alexis the Quietest. Nice. Right. Get uh, siege leaders. Bear in mind, this is, at the end of the day, a great holy war. Um, we've only got one siege leader. That's all right. So we need to ensure that we're actually the one doing most of the damage here. Otherwise, we're not going to get the land. Oh, no. Now, I always, always, personal preference, play with major epidemics on deadly. Because the plague was known for being quite deadly. Show no mercy. Kill him. What a great start. This fucking guy is the coolest character we've ever had. Takes over. 
immediately dives into this wall like this beast of a man. 31 fucking Marshall, despite the fact that we trained him in Intrigue. I didn't even notice the fact that he was like that. Elusive Shadow gives two. Genius gives five, of course. Zealous and brave and diligent is traits. Art of War giving five. Leading an army gives two. War focus for three. Fucking hell. And a son? Froll. Terrible. God, awful. Child one. You will earn your name. I have a big list of names now. People have been sending me. Hey, there we go. There's something. Right. Okay, I want to take the capital, but of course, our our ally is sieging it. So if we help them out, they'll get the war score and not us. Um, Which is not ideal. What did we just lose there? Like, our, we just lost a shitload of war score. You see that? They counter siege something? I have no idea. Well, we're still we're still gonna win. I hope. I, I should expect. Oh, shit! We've got it. That was a hundred percent. What? Who did we capture? Someone? Oh, Ilya Puskin prisoner. I don't know who that is. His wife? Really? Oh no! His. I have no idea. Oh, his heir. Sorry, his heir. There we are. Oh, it's not his son then. Oh, it's his brother. Hey, that'll do. Nice work. I didn't even think that was me that got him prisoner, actually. Who got him prisoner? Uh, oh, no, it was me. Must have been in battle. I, I genuinely didn't even notice. Boom. The great Stalinist holy war has ended. We have won. We didn't actually take as much as I expected to take, to be honest with you. Lenin has granted Chairman Tukhachevsky victory in the great patriotic war for Petersgrad against the other guy. Go for a month of celebration across the whole old world cultist world. Praise Lenin. What a guy. What a guy. Look at this. I have to make a few duchies here. I've made Novgorod. Uh, okay, so that one we can't make. Well, to be fair, we're kind of out of gold. Right, let's give it that to some loyal, powerful vassals. I need people. Uh, let's see if we can find. Does anyone else gain red guardsmen besides us? Reset. Guards. Oh, yeah, a lot of them gained it. Let's land them. They deserve it. You deserve some land, my friend. Grant landed title. You may have Novgorod as one of the most powerful red guardsmen in the realm. And then uh, this guy as well got it. Some lowborn dude. Lowborn no more. Lowborn no more. My friend, take your house. I know he's a different culture, but you know what? He's dedicated to the realm. All right, let's get back on with regular day-to-day -day management then. So we need a regent. Um, I'll give it to her. She's proven herself to be trustworthy. It was a bit of a gamble, but it's definitely paid off. People's artist. Um... Oh, Gendi is, is so angry at me. What's wrong with you? Title claimant. Oh, well, you can fuck off then. Want to see it on the council? Yeah, you could be the people's artist. <laughs> uh, the mother heroine, I guess I'll give to the queen mother of the throne. Um, and then we'll give that to you. Hey, that's fine. This is looking all right. Life, I want you to focus on stewardship. And we, our marshal bloody retired as well. Well, to be just signing some incredibly powerful characters. So that's really not a concern, is it? Two characters are loyalists. We've got to prove ourselves. Bear in mind, we've, we've only just taken over. We've, we've just fought a massive war. Now we need to prove that we can handle the actual realm itself. Just randomly became best friends with some of the Egar. Hello. Oh, he's a fucking czarist. The cult of Olga. No. Please, friend. Please, friend. Come on. Come on. Convert over. There we go. There we go. That's a lot better. Fucking hell. The Don Caban's Liberation Revolt? Shit. Uh, that's actually massive. And then obviously our troops go all the way now from like the Caspian over to the to the Baltic. So we've got to be very, very careful about these rebellions kicking off. Huh? Right. Leg it out of here. Someone's conspiring to kill me. With the most conspicuous event picture I've ever seen. Fuck. Who's trying to kill me? Do we know? We actually have no idea. Okay. Spymaster? Is our best friend. It's our friend Igar. Igar, my life depends on it. I can trust you. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that plague. Oh, well, let's crush this rebellion as fast as possible before that bloody plague turns up. I know we're going to lose a lot of troops going a bit gung-ho like this, but it's kind of necessary. Right. Uh, kill. Slay. Kill. Okay. Okay. Got him. Yes, got him. I was lucky. Right. Get fucking gone. Uh. Right. Notify the plotter. 100%. Good shit. That was a bit dangerous. Not a fan. You can die now. Excellent. Where is the plague? Oh. Oh, no. Um, it's not actually spread as virulently as I expected, to be honest with you. I thought... Oh. 
Since the Great War in the East is finally over and the Chinese stand victorious, the Siberian Empire has been utterly crushed. Even now, the Chinese governor has established military outposts in the snowy lands of Siberia and tribute caravans laden with ivory and railroads make their way to the Imperial City. Many Siberians remain in their homeland and acclimatized to foreign rule. A, gr a large group of Siberian nobility army peasants have chosen to migrate west. Hang on a minute. I'm west of Siberia. Could the... Oh, fuck. This empire in exile could easily prove a grave threat to its neighbors. Uh... Lizard men? You don't look very lizardy. Uh... Yeah, let's keep an eye on that, shall we? That could be a problem. <laughs> Middle East, ravaged by the plague. Still hasn't reached us quite yet, but it's heading over here pretty fucking fast from both angles. Maybe family focus for a little while. Bear in mind, we're not going to be going to war while the plague is kicking around, because all our troops will just take so much bloody attrition, it won't be worth it. Here it comes. Oh, no. My thing. Shit. It's like two provinces away from the capital, right? Yep, here we go. Right, get ready to slam that gate shut. Second it hits... Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm giving it to a loyalist. Fuck you. Look, we've got control of the council, though. We can do a little bit of, uh... uh not corruption. That's the wrong word. Reorganization of bureaucracy in our favor. What is this? New Russian. M Mira Zumadrost. Uh, originating in the distant and noble snowlands east of Russia, Mira Zumadrost is a religion focused on the be belief in a phenomenon known as Mirazum, which all human consciousness is thought to be linked. Oh. Well, okay. Uh shit. We've got this new Russian Empire of the of the Siberian Empire heading over. That concerns me. Where has he landed again? There it is, Siberian Empire. Hasn't got to us yet. Is it even gonna reach us? If we're lucky, it might not get to us. Look. Has it stopped spreading? Oh. Oh my god. Valentine of, of Klamikia staggers past your guards, bleeding profusely from a dozen stab wounds. As he collapses in a pool of blood at your feet, he gasps with the last breath. The k k k k b g No. Well, they sound like uh, they sound like a good group of people. Let's get in there. <laughs> I think we're actually going to avoid it. Look, it's, re it's recessing from Northern Africa. We're actually going to avoid the plague by genuinely two provinces. That is fucking insane. Wow. Talk about dodging a bullet. Okay, well, we can focus on war then. We can go back to that uh, that tactic. Look at this Look at this council. She's got 36 opinion of us, and she's a loyalist. I guess it's because at the end of the day, she is our mother. She's very angry at me for some reason. Why are you angry at me? Rival. She was probably our educator. That explains why we also weren't notified about this guy's education, right? And she tried to make us ambitious, I assume. Or we were ambitious and lost it. Interesting. <gasps> Deary? My child, let me find my names for you. I pinned them all on Discord. Chukov? I assume is how that's pronounced. There you are, little Chukov. Let's go for struggle. Let's go for struggle. I need a military ruler capable of uniting this realm. It's all well and good as having high intrigue and keeping the vassals in line. But our, our actual expansion itself is, is very, very slow right now. How close are we to the USSR? We don't control anything right now. Shit. We know we've got a good chunk of Peter Grad, though. So it's this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, right? Just these ones here. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Volgaria. Uh, so... Oh, no, no, sorry. There's six. Uh, so we need to fully control uh, this one. Uh, and then Peter Grad. Obviously, we know where that one is. This one up here. Uh, Volgaria. Oh, Perm. Oh shit, so we've got to go we've got to go a bit more northerly as well. That's all right. What the hell is this? Oh, a tributary. Oh, that's annoying. That's one reason why I've been so desperate to try and go to war as soon as possible. That's very annoying. Um I think we're going to do a little bit of tidying then. Get the troops together. Let's let's, uh, let's bring these guys south actually. They can probably clap those without oh, or not. Fucking hell. My eyes open, seeing only darkness. For a moment, my mind is blank before the first thoughts get through the haze of my sleep. Why did I wake up? A deep man's voice cuts through the silence, startling me. The time has come for you to, <laughs> to profess your devoutness to communism and the rightful Tsar Stalin. Glory to Lord Stalin. Hey, we're back in the KBG. Excellent work. In as a uh, low tier, boring old regular boy. We've got to work our way back up again, unfortunately. I'm hoping with this guy, we might actually be able to... Ooh, mountain expert. Winter soldier we've got to go for, right? We might actually be able to get our way up to the top tiers this time. This seems like a guy who's possible to... 
Get out of here. This. Propagandist Rodian says solemnly as I enter is your test. It is, Chair Lady Birched, my wife. The shock in her eyes must be mirroring my own. If this is the chairman's wish. My god. My god. Holy shit. We've joined the KBG, but at what sick cost? Poor wife. Our poor genius wife. Mother of our perfect son. Destroyed. Destroyed by our own hand. Well, this bitch has two bloody provinces, both from separate duchies. Uh, so I want to force vassalize this guy now that we know we do need Bulgaria. Um, oh, the council have turned against me. Oh, come on. Glory hounds. Okay, so they're fine with us attacking big, but shit, that's quite annoying. We need that war declaration. We still need imprisonment, execution, and banishment. Now that we're a member of the KGB, sorry, KBG, we should be able to solve any vassal-related problems relatively easily. Again, we could just intimidate them for favors. Um, I need to buy some favors then, don't I? You're all right with that. It's 200 gold. We have a lot of gold right now, so we've got to be careful how we go for this. 133. That's 100. 333 we spent so far. 80 on you is fine. And 85. They're all complicit. Now it becomes a democracy. You all get to vote as long as you vote in favor of me. That's fine. Right. Calling council support. Welcome. Calling council support. <laughs> oh, you fools. If you don't do it simultaneously, of course, if you like vote one person but not the other, they refuse to buy the favor because of political concerns. But now, now they have all fallen to my mighty plan. How long until we can swap it over? Three more years. The plan was not so mighty. Well, to be fair, we can go for control realm inheritance. And we can actually declare that war I wanted to declare. Go. Die. Oh, force vassalize. Right, of course. Declare. Force vassalize. You people have had independence for far too long. You need the guidance of the party. Well, that was easy. Thank you. Appreciate the land, my friend. Oh, look at it. The party grows. You know what? Despite all the things we've done, we're actually surprisingly not that hated. We really are surprisingly not that hated. What do you want? Child 5 got landed? Ah, oh, fuck. Decrease counter power, raise levy, short reign, title claim, and ambitious. Okay, so most of his problems with us is the fact that he wants more in life. Wants to see it on the council, you can get to fuck. Who else we got here? What about that guy we just conquered? Is he not bothered? 23 opinion. Nice, what a guy. And now things start getting interesting. We dodged a plague. We've got the Siberian Empire forming in the very furthest east, which as we expand, so will they. And they are far more powerful than us from the get-go. They're going to be able to swallow up so land. So they're going to be like the Mongolians in base game CK2, aren't they? More importantly, the inner party has grown mighty and powerful under the leadership of Tukhachevsky, the mighty military ruler. Honestly, he's great at intrigue and he's great at diplomacy. This guy is who we needed to take over the realm following Paul Kaganovich, who, who ended up being much better than I thought. Really thought that when we lost Quick and gained Dull, or Trude and gained Dull, that he was doomed. But he ended up being a, a great guy who will, will be remembered when we stand proud. Thank you all for watching. What a mess. <laughs> what a messy series. Thank you to our insane top tier executive producer patrons. Delete is applicable. Thank you to Ice Wolf. I stab cows, Poseidon Sian, German Hammer, Siala, Jack Black Sheep, Goatfather, Oliver, Skaz, Dranmere, Slow King 1710, Tremere Regent, Cat, Other Guy 39, and Corrupt Racer, along with everybody, of course, at the executive producer tiers for their support and keeping the channel going. Thank you for returning to CK2 for a little while. Um, don't know what we'll do with CK2 after this. I don't know if we'll ever come back to CK2 after this series, to be honest, because this has very much just been a, a kind of one for the fans, really. Um, it's obviously, I mean, it's getting less used in Darkest Dungeon. And say this used to be a CK2 channel is. Um, not good, but hey, this is it's a little bonus one for you guys. Thank you as well to Thanks for the Lone Bojo, Sam Haruni, Flum, Mr. Awesome, Lanath, Alex Schultz, Lilac, Atreus Sen, Lady Cerulean, and Blue Chaos as well for their support. See you all tomorrow for, I think we can tidy up like two of the five kingdoms that we need for this empire. Easy.